Welcome back to another video. As promised in the Home Assistant Community Forums, we will use a motion sensor or any sensor, in that case, to record short video clips in Home Assistant using any camera source. A very common scenario in CCTV. First we will add a trigger for our automation, in this case I am using the motion sensor in my camera as a trigger. And two menu select detected. Close the trigger menu by clicking on the arrow. Now we will add the actual action for the camera recording, in then do our action section. Click add action and select camera. Click record. Or you can also type camera record in action search menu to directly select camera record action. Now we will choose the camera to use for the recording, click choose entity, and select the camera which you want to record the video from. Enter the duration of clips you want to record, in this case I have left it as default at 30 seconds. I have set loop back at 15 seconds, this is only available if your camera supports HLS stream. Now the most important step. We will enter the complete name and location for the CCTV footage to be stored at. The format I have used will be in the description below. You can copy and paste as it is, or you can change the folder names and timestamp format. Using variables allows us to save files with a timestamp as a unique name. I have named the file as year, month, date, hours and seconds. You can name it as required. Fun fact, this is standard Python date time formatting used in both Home Assistant and ESP Home. Links in the description below. You can specify the complete location and folders to use for storing the individual clips. You can name those as per your camera name or whatever feels easy to you. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content. For more info on Yam Watch Smart Home Junkies video. Now we will save the automation by clicking save on the bottom right corner. Add a descriptive name for your camera recording automation. And click save. We can use traces to check whether automation is working or not. Since automation hasn't been triggered yet there is no trace of it. Click the three dot menu at the top right corner and click run. Click trace again, and here you can check any issues with the automations. You can also confirm the exact file name which was created the last time the recording was triggered by the motion sensor. If you have noticed, we did make a mistake in file naming. Pause the video and comment below what was the mistake. We missed a forward slash after the folder name. Click save and check traces again. Click on the media page. Browse to the folder defined in the automation. There you will find all the recent motion triggered clips. Click on any clip you are interested in and it will start playing in your browser. You can also play it on your media player or screen of your choice. Please do like, share and subscribe for more content.